Hello, I'm Steve Huter with the Network Startup Resource Center at the University of Oregon. In this clip uh, you're about to see, we are in Yangon, Myanmar at a campus network design and operations training workshop that was held in March 2013. In this program we had 36 computer science and engineering professors from 21 different universities that, that represent the ministries of education, uh, science and technology, and health. And the goal really was to try and, and create a foundation of some human resource development for improving the campus networks to improve internet access and better services for the research and education community. We'd like to thank all of the government agencies of Myanmar that provided support to the universities and to the Network Startup Resource Center in facilitating this training, particularly the Ministry of Science and Technology. If it could be possible, I'd like to get connected to the research education network in order to improve our research quality of our universities. If we could provide the first internet access, I think uh, we could offer our distant learning and some of the students who cannot come to our university. It's very far from the town. So, who are learning their computer science, but they cannot come to our university. We can offer the distant learning to those who can use the internet, if we can improve the internet access. One of the site visits we did was to Yangon Technical University. The rector explained that they've just recently transitioned to a fiber-based connection, and, and they do have a connection through the, their internet service provider. However, they don't have a campus network. And she explains that the network is only at their server room and they have a small computer lab. This outlines the need for fiber optic cabling on their campus, as well as probably build a wireless network to provide service in faculty offices. During the week that we spent with uh, participants both from Yangon Technical University and universities uh, throughout uh, Myanmar, we uh, taught sections on campus network best practices, how to develop campus networks, and how to provide services to the research and education community that would uh, potentially transform their ability to update their educational system. Most of our training was in a virtual lab environment. We actually simulated equipment on uh, server class hardware that we brought in. One of the key missing elements in a virtual lab is for the participants to really get some hands-on experience. So we did ship in a, a pallet of equipment and uh, we did perform a, a hands-on lab that actually had the participants looking at equipment, touching equipment. Um, you know, uh, equipment has optical interfaces in them called SFPs and we actually pulled SFPs out and showed them to them. Uh, the participants were familiarized with console cables and how to plug into a piece of equipment to provide initial configuration. And this kind of training is so important because many of the participants don't e did not even have any campus networks. They'd never seen any network hardware. So getting training in a virtual lab where people are, are doing significantly sophisticated activities has to be balanced with some hands-on of actually touching equipment and configuring the equipment. So we run two cables and then we bind the two cables together. Yep. So that's them all plugged together. Interface numbers and so what will be quite right. Uh, we are very, very happy and very honored to be part of the programs with you to begin the development of the National Research Education Network uh, community in Myanmar. 
We would also like to thank very much the government of Myanmar for inviting us and for hosting us and for supporting the creation of this network in Myanmar. If our uh, internet connection will be better, we can download and we can test more open source software. Our progress will be faster and better in our environment, not only for our research students at this time, but also for the next generation researchers and other students who are very willing to do the cloud computing technologies and other mobile technologies. We really need high-speed internet connection as well as the cloud labs for our university.